Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I'm going to do is share with you my personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we're looking at Tortuga. They're actually in pre-sale right now. So we're going to head on over there first. Uh, now this is DXL. Um, a lot of times on this channel we actually don't even really ever do any cover any projects that are on DXL. That's not by design. Um, it's just that I typically do not cover projects on DXL. So um, I tend to find that uh, more pre-sales, you know, are on Pink Sale and Gempad um, and so forth. So we tend to do, you know, cover pre-sales more on those two platforms. But either way, uh, this was a project that I came across, and so. Um, you know, I had some concerns in regards to the project, and I wanted to go ahead and share my insights you know, with you guys you know, here on the channel. So again, this is Tortuga. We can see that right here. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll cover some of the stuff that we would normally take a look at, even though the format here is a bit different you know, on DXL. We get the token details over here, you know, the pre-sale address, you know, which is going to be you know, right here, the token address, you know, the sale ID, total supply, tokens for IDO, tokens for liquidity, the soft cap and hard cap, which we typically cover, so we can see 25 ETH, you know, hard cap 50 ETH. Uh, right now, at the time of recording this, you know, you're still talking to trying to raise this under 60 grand, $60,000. Okay, with that being the 50 ETH hard cap, I think I might be a bit off, you know, but I know it's less than 60,000 at the time of me doing the video. Um, and then we can see their minimum and max contributions um, at 0.1 ETH, and then the max contribution here is going to be 3 ETH, which I think what ETH is running at just over 1100 something, you know, right now at the time we're doing this video. So, I mean, you're talking probably at 3 ETH, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of $3,300, $3,400. Um, given what the price of ETH is right now. So I think that's an extremely high max contribution for pre-sale. I think that's just ridiculous, actually, um, if, we're, if we're keeping it real. And uh, so we can also see another, well, concern, another concern that I have here is that the liquidity unlock date, um, it's just December 31st, you know. So right now, the, uh, at the time of recording this video, um, we're talking, what's November 9th, you know. So really short uh, liquidity unlock date for this token. We can also see, you know, here, um, you know, zero out of 50 ETH raise, you know, pre-sale is going to end in this is the time frame. So they haven't had any contributions, you know. So and we'll go, we'll get into that a bit more. Now we can see there, uh, we got the website link and we got a link, you know, to their Twitter. I actually don't have a Telegram, you know, for this or a Discord that I've been able to find, you know, so that's another concern on this one. So Sierra Healthy, uh, Ocean requires the protection of sea turtles. Scientists claim that ocean plants, known as, I don't even know how to say this word, are responsible for more than 50% of the world's oxygen being produced in our oceans. As a result, the condition of our oceans is more... Uh, crucial to human survival, Tortuga is a new or a is a new revolutionary new Ethereum token that combines all of its features to create something entirely new, and support the cleanup of ocean and river plastic by becoming a donor to the ocean cleanup. All right, so that's the information that they give you in regards to their description. We can also see the estimated initial market cap is going to be 226302 as evidenced right here. And we can see no KYC. They do have an audit as far as the audit is concerned. Um, I think I've already mentioned this. Maybe I didn't, but they can blacklist. So if I did uh, mention that before, my apologies for repeating it. But And then we can also see here on the token um, distribution, another concern is that they've got 56% of their tokens unlocked. Okay, and anytime we see a big chunk of tokens unlocked, really any tokens unlocked, we always want to know what's the reason behind that. But in this case, that's a lot of tokens that are unlocked. Okay, so that is also a concern. Now, um, based on what you already saw in terms of the currency for the raise, it is an Ethereum project, so be aware of that as well. Transitioning over to the documentation, so we can see that they've got 18 slides. And as always, I mean, we'll go into a preview, you know, the slides and see what they've got going on here in their information so i mean as far as the documentation is concerned i mean it doesn't look bad um, we can see here on their ecosystem they've got swapping a wallet holding an exchange okay so and then we see here they're mentioning that they have a secure platform you know, everybody says that but you know remains to be seen core values and we see token utilization uh, we see how to get started with us and uh, features associated, you know, with the token, 
challenges, solution-based advantages. And we see here tokenomics, so we always like to take a look here at those. And we can see, you know, just the token name, symbol, total supply is going to be one quadrillion, which means there's a ton of it. And we see information in regards to burn holders. Okay, the network is ETH, as we discussed before. On token distribution, we see 2% going to reflection, 2% to charity, 8% to taxes, 2% to marketing, and 2% to token burn. All right, then we also come to their roadmap. And so we see there are five different phases. And we go back to October 2022, or 2022 where they start with the token launch and pre-sale of the token. Now, obviously, we're in November, right? So it looks like they're definitely off pace when it comes to the roadmap. Now, here's always my issue, I think, a lot of times with projects as they're developing the roadmap, which is why I stress so much that they need to be staying very connected to the roadmap because a lot of times projects will develop the roadmaps very early on in the project. But they never come back to it to update the roadmap, you know, so obviously they need to do that as evidenced here that clearly they didn't launch in October, okay? So we see here they jump to December, social media promotion campaigns, January of next year, 10% burn for um, as far as the total supply is concerned, February, development of a mobile game, and in March, NFTs will be added. Okay, so I never like gaps in any roadmap, so we don't get anything in November, and I think that's something that should be addressed. Plus, the information that we get here in the roadmap there's not a lot of it, so you know I don't really care for that either. And then we get to the last slide, which is thank you by the team. So when we go to the main page, we see links in the navigation bar, and we see a button to the white paper and to the audit report. The buy now button here just takes you straight over to their pre-sale, and then here it's just indicating that it's ETH. It says here, let's save the world's oceans, you know, while there's still time. Moving forward, it gives you some information about the token. All right, so this is basically what we saw on the DXL page. And then uh, let's see here, we get to pre-sale and they have this animation here and it gives you information that we still, I mean, this is basically the same information that we saw, you know, on the DXL page. And like I said, I wanna highlight that short liquidity unlock time, 60 days, super short. We always wanna see at least a year, in my personal opinion, when it comes to liquidity unlock. So uh, let's see here, tokenomics, again, we've already taken a look at that. And then we see um, roadmap, you know, so, and the main thing when it comes to the roadmap is that even though we do get timelines, it's just really a very thin roadmap as far as I'm concerned. Not a lot of details, and we want more details in a roadmap. We also want to see where the team's at in terms of development of the things they say they're going to do. Uh, and then when we get to the end of the roadmap, you know, is there going to be any more development or value for the holders? Okay, which in my personal opinion, this to me, concerning the token, and I've got some additional things that I want to mention. So this, again, I just want to say that, um, you know, we've already, so we just finished looking at the roadmap. This is basically the end of the, of the website page. Okay, but um, the other thing is that when you look at their Twitter channel, which is that's the only social that they have, there are only two tweets there under 500 members, so no Telegram, um, and then you've got the audit issues, no team information, um, there are literally no links to any socials, you know, here on the main website, I mean, so here we're at the footer of the, of the page, we went through the whole page, this huge chunk of real estate, you know, on this page is just taken up by information that's already been reiterated, um, you know, through their pre-sale page. So when the pre-sale is over with, what happens to all this space, you know, that's being, you know, used here to literally give us the same information that we already saw on the pre-sale page? It's just wasted space, you know. So, um, so yeah, I, I've, I've got some concerns in regards to this project because they don't really seem like they've got a lot going on. Um, and I don't like the way that things have been communicated. I don't like what's going on, you know, in terms of, um, you know, what we saw, you know, concerning the, the pre-sale, the max contribution, you know, the unlocked tokens. I mean, there's a lot of issues that I have personally, you know, with this. Now, I never steer you guys in one way or another in regards to, you know, where you go with the token. At least I try not to. Um, ultimately, I give them that information, you know, in a very objective way. And, you know, that's all that's all I can do, right? I give you the information and it's up to you to go ahead and do your own assessment and evaluation, you know, on the project. But again, there are some issues, you know, here, you know, for me personally, if it was me, 
evaluating the project, you know, concerning my own level of participation, you know, with this. So, and I personally think if we go back to the max contribution here, you know, when you're talking about what, $3,400, $3, you know, coming into a max um, or being allowed as far as a max pre-sale contribution, I think that is bananas, you know, and so, um, but if the team sees the video, they want to go ahead and weigh in on anything that I've said here. Certainly, I'm wondering about these unlock tokens. Feel free. I always welcome teams to uh, provide feedback and engage with me in the comments or by email, you know, in regards to anything that I've said in regards to a particular project. Never out there to go ahead and pour cold water on a project. I just um, you know, talk about the information as I see it and I give you my opinion. So, um, so yeah, thank you very much, guys, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for me in regards to this one, and we'll leave it there. If you guys have, you know, any interest in taking a closer look at this project, you can certainly uh, make sure that you follow, you know, what I've said before, information gathering. Make sure that you get as many details as you can in regards to the project before you decide to lean into it or not. And that's going to start with, you know, taking a look at any other content creators that are talking about it, you know, their social communities, um, the own, their own documentation that they put together, you know, for their own project, you know, so those things will help to um, guide you as far as developing your own insights and evaluation on a project. So with that said, if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Um, a lot of these videos are time sensitive. And if you are not subscribed with notifications turned on, you're not going to know when new content is released to the channel. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And with that said, you all enjoy the day.